Hey, hi, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. You are watching Golf North Wales. I'm Shay. Um, what we're going to do today is something we've posted to our Instagram page on a number of occasions over the past month just to ask us a few questions, um, maybe about the channel, about ourselves, uh, maybe why we're doing it. We, we don't have a big following on YouTube, it's not something we're really after. Um, it was more we've created this YouTube channel in order to answer some of the questions from Instagram. So we have a platform to do that. Um, but we've got a few questions and uh, I'm just going to take my time and uh, go through a couple. We're not going to go through them all, so I'm just going to apologise to anyone who uh, who doesn't get the right question answered today. It's probably something we'll do in the vlog, so maybe drop you a message when we've done that. Um, so the first question, probably the best place to start, is uh, so why did you start the YouTube channel? I say the channel originally started from our swing caddy review. We were asked a number of times through the page, "Oh, what's that device you're using? Is it any good?" So we just thought, "Well, we're going to make a little video." It was filmed on iPhone. It had no mics. It had no cameras. It was just iPhone, Scott, poor light. There we go, blah, blah, blah. So it was good fun. It, we have changed a bit since then. We've just used my cameras from work, which is something I didn't really plan on doing. But as we've just carried on, we've quite enjoyed doing it. So why we've continued the channel is it's something quite fun to do. If it's something you haven't done, it's easy enough to do with your iPhone. So if you want to go out, film with your mates, have a bit of a laugh. It, we're quite happy knowing that we're going to look back on this in a decade's time and say, wow, what a bunch of wazex we were so that's quite it's quite a nice thing to have so yeah that's why we've started and obviously continued uh the next question from mike who actually messages quite often so thanks mike was what are the goals for the channel um in regards to subscribers and content so the, the subscriber goal really as i've said to me and scott have discussed this we'd be we'd be over the moon if in a few years time that a few drips have watched and gone, oh, them two are quite fun. And so I think the goal all in all is if we could reach 500 subscribers in the next couple of years, I think we'd be quite happy. We do have quite a lot of views on our reviews and whatnot. And it's more because we're honest, we're amateurs and we don't hit the ball well all the time. So you're getting a good review, but it's goals from the channel, obviously, about 500 subs and we'd be over the bloody moon um, and the one thing is traveling more obviously it's something we've not been able to do this year just because of covid restrictions and this that and the other but the channel on instagram started with golf north wales where we had a pro who me and scott played with at the time ask well do you fancy running this page for me i'm moving to america and obviously i know you get out and about so what we want to do is carry on traveling this place is like nevin and district that we used to be members of actually and travel a four and a half maybe five hour round journey to at least once a week so once these covid restrictions have uh, buggered off i think a bit more travel showing you guys a few more places in north wales would be quite nice because it's really underrated as a as a goal a place to go golfing there's plenty of lovely golf courses here some like no other so yeah that's definitely a goal for the channel uh, another one, which is one, uh, quite an honest one. How do you deal with criticism? We've had, we've not had a tirade through YouTube. I've had a, this is the worst review ever. Um, how do I deal with that? Well, my deal was obviously with the gentleman. I said, well, thank you very much for your view, first of all. And I can agree with him. It was a terrible review. I think it was more never me saying everyone should play with P790 irons. But the truth of it is on that video, the music youtube had scratched it all out we have got the licenses to play these music but obviously getting to grips with the youtube algorithms and this that and the other it's providing that license to youtube so you may find on some of our videos that the the when there's music playing it's scratchy and awful but that's something we're still trying to work out with youtube in regards to me having the license for those music through third-party plugins but youtube don't believe we do so it's something that might get changed soon uh, as for criticism, the other piece of criticism that was, it was a bit of a tirade on myself really, it was after we did our very first video, it was something that, well, Scott was biting the bullet, but obviously I was a bit more soft on it all, a gentleman who, who messaged my Instagram directly, nothing to do with Golf North Wales, saying, well, why would I listen to you, you're a crap golfer, and so on, um, and the truth of it was, I messaged him back, saying, I look forward to 
your review of the product. We enjoyed doing the review because we had the products in hand, we could test it against TrackMan, which is something that not a lot of amateurs have the facilities to do. They're having to buy this equipment before they can test it against TrackMan. And once you've bought it, you've bought it. You can't rent, rent that equipment. So as for that gentleman, I'm certain you're a better golfer than me. I'm certain that you're way more fun than I am. And uh, hope you do well. <laughs> Um, another one actually uh, do you think you're good at golf honest no not very good at golf I don't think anyone who watches the channel or anyone who's played with us will think we're good at golf uh, have I got the potential to be good at golf with a lot of practice it's, I don't think it's something you get good at without a lot of practice um, bear in mind I still haven't been playing the game three years yet I'm down to 12 handicap at the moment but that's a very scratchy 12 handicap I can play into single figures but often I'll shoot way above 90 so am I a good golfer in reality no um, who's the best golfer on the channel um, consistency wise probably me because um, shooting in around my handicap at least but the best golfer I don't think he's been on the channel yet so it's someone we're looking to introduce to the channel um, our John Ram doppelganger call him Joe Ram for short um, he hits the ball a long way he puts like a beast so uh, that's one to look forward to and last one I'll answer today is one must play golf course in North Wales um, the one for me is again it's Nevin and District it's well the 27 holes at Nevin you have a view of the sea from each and every hole. We've all played links, I'm pretty certain. All of them are spectacular, but when you've got that view of the sea and you're hitting over the sea on some shots, there's no better feeling. Um, maybe another one is Borth and Unslass. It's uh, Abba Dovey's next door neighbour. Maybe little neighbour considered, but I couldn't contain my excitement when we got there. It was a few years ago now. Um, the course looks like it was set up in in the golf in the early 1900s and it hasn't changed since then you go into the clubhouse into the shop there's persimmon woods on sale there's ping zing irons on sale so it's not like walking into your modern day clubhouse it's like walking back into the 30s so that's quite a good one to play but uh thank you for your questions over instagram uh if you have come over from instagram hit that like button maybe hit the subscribe if you can be bothered we're not going to pest you but uh thank you very much and uh we'll see you next time